So you want a lot of money to buy all the cars in a dealership and buy every single new licensed car that comes to the game because they do look good. But there's one problem. You don't have a lot of money. So in this video, I'll be showing the best methods to grind. There's a few ways of doing it. Now quickly before I continue with this video, there's one thing that you cannot do, actually two technically. So the first one is you cannot AFK grind. That is against the rules. And the second one is you cannot alt grind. So this guy right here, he has to go because we can't use him. So now on to money methods. So I did use the Hennessy Venom F5 because I think I'm pretty sure it's the best car in the dealership right now because it just came out and yeah. So first method is highway grinding. Now, there's, I'm not talking about doing the race because if we do the race, you only get 8k per coming first, which isn't that much and yeah. But I'm talking about going up and down highway, which obviously takes a long time, but the one benefit is you can do it solo. So I did this test earlier. And obviously I would never crash in these tests once because it would interrupt the times. Up and down highway, one lap from one end to the other takes two minutes. And while testing without crashing at all once because I'm a good driver, you can do 30 laps in one hour. And every one lap from one end to the other gives 25k cash, which is a lot for just like driving from one end to the other. Now if you do 30 laps per hour, now you might crash a couple of times, but it's fine so doing 30 laps per hour will get you 750k per hour so if you want to do two hours of grinding while just highway grinding you'll get 1.5 million now the benefit of doing highway grinding is you can just get like a youtube video or netflix or something like that and you can put it in picture in picture mode and you can just put it in the corner of your screen and basically just watch i guess while you're grinding now that's the only solo grinding method there are a couple others now so there are obviously a lot of races in game now which is obviously good so sandy shores rush hour drawbridge circuit drag cross country highway whatever highway is not that good cross country and circuit around the same so i'm just gonna merge those two together let's so say it takes you 150 seconds to do cross country and circuit both 150 seconds plus maybe 30 seconds because of wait time of getting the race to start or maybe waiting for people to join the race which is 180 seconds so with both of them you can do around 20 races per one hour which obviously isn't that many but with that you'll get around oops now i did test both so circuit you actually get 850k per hour which isn't that much if you go ahead and do cross country you get 1 million every hour so basically you can get so basically so far you get 750k from doing highway laps you get 850 from circuit and you get 1 million from doing cross country there's another two races that are basically similar so i'm going to kind of merge them together so one of them is sophia bay the race in the middle of nowhere which is over here and of course tire marks are just why are they why did they go on for so? so this race actually is probably the easiest race that gives a lot of money so it's, it's four corners one corner there another corner there third corner there and fourth corner there it's basically just a massive cube of a race which is really good for like if you're not trying to do too much for a race and you still want to get a lot of money so with sophia bay you get 65 it takes you around 65 seconds and then with waiting for players it takes up like 90 seconds say and you get 28k per coming first so it's actually not too bad for a few brace whatever and with it taking not that long you can do 40 races in one hour which yes it's double doing cross country but you get 1.12 million now the last race on this list is rush hour so this is similar to sophia bay I did 55 seconds plus like waiting time which is like 80. So with rush hour it, it doesn't give as much money it gives 25k for coming first which is a little bit less than Sophia Bay but because it doesn't take that long to do it's actually quicker than doing Sophia Bay you do 45 races every one hour which is five more races than obviously Sophia Bay if you couldn't 
Oh my, if you couldn't tell. But with this, you do get 5k extra. So you get 1.125 million, which isn't too much, but... Also, if you take into consideration, I didn't add up how much money you get from just driving around. So like, so this is the rush hour layout. It's not too bad. The only thing you can't do if you're not in the race is obviously the jump. But when I was testing, I didn't mess up any times on any of the races I tested. Because that would mess up my test, obviously. So the best race in the game is either rush hour or sophia bay rush hour if you want 5k extra and do it quicker but sophia bay if you just want to do a chill race with your friends and it's just a massive cube so it does get a little bit boring but like it's it's easier to do basically so why wouldn't you but yeah now the last thing is you can use codes uh settings here now they don't do codes that often anymore honestly they have a few codes i think Winterfest 2023 is one of them, and 1B Visits, which both only give cards though, they're not like money codes, so honestly not worth using codes as a method, so don't do it. If you're starting off, then yeah, use codes, because you get two free cards, but that's basically it. Hopefully you enjoyed, and hopefully they don't add like an overpowered race in the next update, because yep. Anyway, that's basically it. Have fun grinding, uh, have a good day.